It's Monday, March 10th. I'm Natalie Del Conte and you're getting loaded. Club goers looking to get their groove on have always had respect for the DJ, but now a new technology is giving birth to a new form of DJ, the audio-visual artist. Instead of just spinning records, they're adding video to the mix now. Our producer Randall Bennett talked to some of the leaders in the AV art scene. Take a look. Even when I was just a DJ, I've always called myself an artist. So now I'm just an AV artist. Pushing the boundaries of what two tables and a microphone can do, AV performers like DJ Rooney G have been steadily moving out of the realm of simple audio and into a full-scale audio-visual experience. But what exactly is an AV performer? An AV performer is somebody who DJs with um, music and video simultaneously. And just as making an iPod playlist doesn't make you a DJ, simply playing video doesn't make you an AV performer. AV artists manipulate video much like DJs manipulate audio, remixing it to create a completely new piece of art. DJ Rooney G didn't start as an AV artist. In fact, he started as a breakdancer looking for beats. And as a military brat in Japan, the mixtapes of local DJs weren't quite cutting it. They couldn't get it right, so then I was just like, screw it, I'll do it myself. Fast forward to a few years later and DJ Rooney G became a well-respected DJ and was invited to help Pioneer collaborate on a new line of CD-based turntables. After they created their first CD-based turntable, Rooney G started questioning the possibility for a DVD-based turntable. I realized the creativeness and the artistic uh, realm that it was bringing me into was like just unlimited and, and gave me so much possibility. So, you know, when scratching videos, like, it's like, it was just amazing to me. The first show I did, I actually had a prototype of the, the X1, which was the first DVJ, DVD turntable unit. I had to mix into something else that wasn't a video. It was, to me, it was very difficult. But two years of leading AV performances worldwide, and now DJ Rooney G headlines the biggest clubs worldwide as an AV performer. The Eclectic Method is a uh, video remix, video mashup act. Uh, out of London, England, but now scattered around the globe. What makes us different is our uh, trashy remix approach to audiovisual performance. Unlike Rooney G, members of the Eclectic Method started with video in mind, playing with their VCRs. Now, fortunately for them, the technology is starting to catch up with their vision. For us, the exciting thing is is the fact that, that equipment manufacturers have been actually catching up with us really in many ways and as time has gone on not only the DVD decks have come about uh, that let us do what we do live but the mixing technology is also ca catching up so that you can now put audio visual effects into into play when you're doing your improvised performance. But don't expect your local wedding DJ to make the leap out of AV performer in the near future. DJ Lars says the tech is here but it's still very pricey. I definitely think it's still a more higher end thing. It's still fairly expensive. I mean a DVD turntable is $2,500. You're looking at buying two DVJs that sets you back five grand and then in addition to your audio mixer, you need some kind of video mixer. You know, like the a video mixer will set you back anywhere between like $400 and about $1,000. I mean, for clubs, spending five, $6,000 on a mixer is really not that big a deal. You know, for somebody who DJs in their bedroom, that's a lot of money. Live AV performance is a bit out of the reach of regular folks who don't have the programming know-how or the cash to experiment, but Lars says it won't be that way for long. We all know how it goes with technology. I mean, especially people on CNET know it as well. You know, a product comes out and three, four years later, the price drops. I mean, the same thing happened to regular DVD players. You know, a few years ago, they were crazy expensive. Now you can buy one for 50 bucks. The hardware may be too expensive, but in the meantime, there are lots of software solutions that can get you experimenting. Nowadays, it's exactly the same as getting into music production. It's like so much of it is software based. That it's really easy to get started in editing and making your own videos just with PC software like Sony Vegas. Oh, I think there's uh, all kinds of doors opening up. There's all kinds of um, artists that will develop from this cross-media genre. If you, if you love what you do, you just practice loads and you'll, you'll get good at it. You know what sounds good, most people have taste, and you know where you're getting to. It's, you know, trial and error.
Thank you for tuning in to this special edition of Loaded. Tune in tomorrow when we take a closer look at the Design and the Elastic Mine exhibit from the New York Museum of Modern Art. I'm Natalie Del Conte with CNET TV and you've just been Loaded.